you have a nice winter break? Did you visit anywhere? Where did you go? 我去了宜蘭。你去了宜蘭? Where did you go? 我去了台南。你去了台南? Where did you go? 我去了台北。你去了台北? So you guys went to Ilan, Taipei, Thailand during the Lunar New Year, right? Then I bet wherever you go, the place is Jimanlen, right? Right? So the expression Ji means it's very crowded. It's full of Jimanlen people. So the same expression can be used in other places. For example, whenever there are people, there will be waste. So how can you do this expression? Uh, the place. That's right. And back to Zicheng. Uh, when you went to Tainan, did you take an airplane? Did you take an Uber? How did you get to Tainan? I go by bus. You go by bus. Uh, then I believe you met Sai Che, right? Yeah. Because it was during the Lunar New Year, everyone is out. I believe we've all been frustrated by this when we open our Google map. So when all roads are painted red, this means the entire road, 整路塞车. and just like 挤满了人, 挤满了垃圾, 整路, so we can also say 整路塞车整路塞满了车 That's right So it, I guess you've all had a nice winter break But don't worry because we are talking about something fairly interesting today I'd like to talk about 现在流行什么? I'll give you 20 seconds. Give you a brainstorm. Brainstorm. Give you a brainstorming time to think of. 现在流行什么? Okay, time's up. 现在流行什么? 现在流行看动漫. 现在流行看动漫. 现在流行韩团. 现在流行韩团. Oh, this is also what I'm trying to ask you. Do you think skinny jeans ma? You will say no, right? How about you? Do you think skinny jeans? Just like your answer, I also believe white leather jeans. 现在很受欢迎 And back to your example You said 现在流行看动漫 right? So 现在什么受欢迎? 现在看动漫受欢迎 How about you? 现在韩团很受欢迎 现在韩团很受欢迎 现在穿喇叭裤很受欢迎 现在穿喇叭裤很受欢迎 所以我们可以说现在不流行 skinny jeans okay. And other than fashion If you've been following the big news in pop culture You'll probably know there's a big event going on Anybody has any idea? 现在流行什么? In pop culture 现在流行韩团 Yes, probably there's a Han Do you have any idea? In pop culture? Since I dosi Han Twan. I guess I'm the only trendy one here. <laughs> Do you know who this is? Yeah, Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift. Uh, she's uh, going on the Eras tour. So we can say Xian Zai Liu Xing. The Eras Tour, Yenchanghui. The Eras Tour is kind of Yenchanghui. Have you guys ever been to Yenchanghui? Mexico. Yes. No? Ah. Then, are you a Swiftie? Do you like Taylor Swift? 
what we were talking about. The reason why I'm saying this is because actually the following sentences comes with a lie, but it is that it is omitted in our examples. So you may ask, when can I omit the lie and when can I not omit the lie? Let's see. Let's read number three first. Can you read number three first? Both are fine. And in this case, what has been shown? So, is our object, is our topic here. So, just keep in mind when the object or the topic is placed behind verb and shu. Then in this case, you can omit lie. But in the other way around, when the object is placed in front of chu, chu and the verb, then you cannot omit the lie. So can you try and read number two? Number one? So, do you guys remember when can we omit lie when the object is is inserted behind the sentence? So are you ready for an exercise? Yes. See. Remember, when object is in front of true lie, you cannot omit lie. When object is behind true lie, you can omit lie. Here we go. Sentence one. 我花三小时做出来这个蛋糕花三小时做出来这个蛋糕 And what is our object here? 蛋糕蛋糕蛋糕 is at the end of the sentence So can we omit lie? Yes, we can omit lie So either 做出这个蛋糕 or 做出来这个蛋糕 are fine And number two 这个蛋糕我花三个小时做出来。Can we omit the lie? 不行。不行。Why? 因为object在前面。Object is placed in front of the sentence, so in this case, 做出来。The lie cannot be omitted. And the last one. 我花三小时把这个蛋糕做出来。Can we omit the lie? We can't. We cannot omit the lie because the same, 这个蛋糕 is inserted in front of 出来。The last reminder that I would like to point out is the difference between 出 and 起. For example, can you read the first sentence? 我想了很久。Ah, so in this sentence, what comes into existence? 解决办法 And when you try to think of 解决办法, a solution, you come from nothing to something. So in this case, an emergence happened. So 出来 is required. And can you try and read number two? 我想了很久,再想起来,他的 uh, in this case, why do we need to use qi? Because when we try to say something that happens in the back, back, past, and you are trying to return that memory or consciousness, in this case, you need to use qi. So, can you try and explain the sentence too? Uh, explain it in English or? You can do it as you like. Okay. 
So, exercise time. Number one. Because ban fa here is also a solution. You need to call them nothing to something. Shan chu lai. Happened in the past. So we try to recall that memory, so we use Xiang Qi Lai. Great job. So today we covered Xian Zai Liu Xing We also talked about your winter break. And we know that when we are trying to travel somewhere, we need to try and prevent Sai Che. Because Sai Che means Zhenlu. That's right. And before I dismiss our class, I'd like to give you guys an assignment. But don't worry, I will do a demo first. I'd like to talk about Guai Guai Wen Hua. Guai, this word means good. Like when you try to say a dog is a good boy, you say good boy, good boy. And in Chinese, you can say ah, hen guai, hen guai. But guai guai is also a, a type of snack. Like, let's look like this. It comes with three colors, three flavors. And the green one tastes sweeter. And it looks like this. And because the green indicates something smooth, quick. Like, just, just like a traffic light, right? When you see the green lights, you can go. When you see the red one, you should, you should stop, right? <laughs> and also when you see the yellow or orange one, it's slow. You need slow. to slow down. <laughs> you need to go faster. <laughs> so only the green one is like better, like free, indicate something good. Just corresponded to the name, guai. So Taiwanese, Treat green package guai guai as a lucky charm. So if you have noticed, you can see green package of lucky charm uh, of guai guai here on the bus, or on the computer, or in a factory, because business owners like would like to in make sure that their business goes smoothly. Bus driver would like his car or her car to go smoothly. So. Yeah, and you need to keep in mind, keep in mind that you cannot put an expired guai guai because uh, it won't work if the food is expired. So you need to check from time to time. So this is my type of culture that started out as pop culture. So uh, I'd like you guys to think of one culture that has immersed into your own culture, but it started out as pop culture. And Try and use these new words that we've covered today. So this is the end of our lessons. Do you have any questions? Yeah, no. Okay.